Hey there, it's been a little while since you guys have seen me. Today I am going to take you guys thrift shopping with me. So let's see what I can film in this first thrift shop. They really don't like people using their cell phones while they're in there, but I have in the past and I haven't been told I couldn't. So we'll see what my luck is today. If I don't get any footage, but I do end up buying some stuff, of course, I'm going to share what I got with you all at the end of this video. Let's go. So I'm done with the first one and I'm here at the next one. I was able to film a little bit <laughs> on the first one and I don't know how the footage came out because I was trying to keep the phone really close to my body in case I didn't want to get called out by anyone, <laughs> even though I'm not really doing anything bad. But um, so I found a couple of things which I'm excited about because they're for look for lesses and I haven't done a look for less video in a very long time. The sun's coming out. It's getting hotter. I have my rain jacket on because it was really gloomy earlier, but it looks like things are clearing up. And now I'm going to head in to the next one.
Oh, and check this out. I am totally wearing the shirt from that booth. Thank you so much for the sweet gift. old postcards oh, look at that let's see what we got there's more up here gardens mountains bridges all right let's see what we can find What are these? Let's see. Hmm. A bangle key chain. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> all right so i'm here and i am looking around let's see if i can find like a little shelf for those spices that i have on the corner of like my kitchen and i still haven't been able to find anything unfortunately the weather has not allowed us to build anything and our time is limited and i'm gonna try and see if there's something here that maybe i can paint that could work for them that's one thing i'm looking for Although I haven't seen much of them or anything that I can put on my wall. So I'm going to continue looking because this place is huge. See if I can come up with something. I do have a couple things that I have found already, which I'm excited about. And then um, continue looking for some projects for some look for less ideas that I already have in mind. So oh, let's see if I can find what I need. I get so distracted. It's not even funny. There's just so many things. And sometimes I think I can like pass by something that um, I might be able to use and I don't even see it because I'm distracted with the thing next to it. Oh, 
little mixing bowl. I thought it was um, a measuring cup, but it's not. It's just a mixing bowl, which is still nice to have, I guess, because it's got the little pour spout. And the stuff, oh gosh. I love these. I bought three last time I went shopping. China bowls. There's these ones. These ones are pretty. They have gold and black. Oh, look at these. Those are so beautiful. They're canisters. And they look like a little village. Oh my God, that's, yes, that is so pretty. Oh my gosh. So I took one of the lids off because I had to look inside. They are just so pretty. This is new. I haven't seen this booth before. Unless they redid this one. Got a whole bunch of cute little duckies. <laughs> Cigarettes? <laughs> That's all I could think of. Ah, cigarette box. Look at that. I guess right. <laughs> Interesting. Look at that. Don't smoke. It's bad for you guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. We've got some lovely busts. Of course. Could use a little bit of a smile. <laughs> oh, I am in heaven, guys. It's just so many things. My grandma used to have one of these. It was in a little side table, a little accent round table in her bedroom. Everybody had to go to her bedroom to make a phone call whenever we were at her house. Looks almost just like it. I remember the phones also being displayed like this on the face of the rotary. machine back and out of storage this is definitely something I want to learn how to make it's quilts oh look how darling this is look at this it comes with the little thing that puts out the candle how sweet is that oh, it's so precious ten dollars oh it's like a beautiful little gift. It's a cute little stool. Not a plunger. 
so come to find out that was not a plunger. <laughs> I came to learn that that was a manual laundry agitator. You know, like the ones that you'd find like in the center of a washing machine. Well, back in the day when we didn't have washing machines, what you would do is you'd put like clothes and linens inside, you know, kind of like a trough with water and soap and everything. And with that, you would take it and go up and down, up and down, and you would agitate the clothes inside of it, of that, you know, container, and you would wash them that way. How cool is that? You learn something new every day. Side note, if I look a little windblown <laughs> or even out of breath, it's because I was outside filming some more progress on the house. We had been delayed a few weeks because of rain and weather, and it was just not ideal. However, they were back today and they were doing so much work and I'm excited to share more progress on that very soon. That's pretty. Oh, that's a pretty bag. That's pretty cool. It's like a special shot glass. <laughs> So 
So those were the only two stores I was able to go to because I was limited in time. We had to come back home and Nelson was waiting for me at my mom's house so we can make the trek back up to Tennessee. So this trip to the second store was actually really unique and so much fun. I got to meet the owner of my favorite booth. Um, she happened to be working at the counter that day and she was working there the last time I went but we didn't get to talk. She recognized me after I had actually uploaded the video. She knew who I was. And um, I was looking forward to going back and seeing if she was working there. And it just so happened when I walked in, she instantly recognized me and we got to catch up and talk a little bit more. So it was so nice to get to meet her in person. It was really fun to talk to her, get to know her a little bit. I even met a young lady from another booth. And if you recall those plates, those beautiful blue and white plates that I shared with you guys last summer. The other lady that I met, she's the owner of that booth. So I got to meet the lady who I bought the plate set from that we use, mind you, every single day. Those ladies have amazing booths. It was really nice getting to meet the ladies behind these booths because it really does give you a appreciation for, you know, all the hard work that they put in into these booths. And they really put a lot of thought into placement and changing things up for the seasons. So that was really nice. I had so much fun talking to them. I probably talked to them for like over an hour, which was totally fine. All right, let's check out what I got. So from the very first place I went to, I got this picture frame. Now I'm not gonna use it like this. This is actually gonna be for a look for less dupe that I have. And I needed a particular type of frame and it had to be like flat like this and kind of thick. So I'm looking forward to creating a look for less dupe for this. And this one just stands up on a desk with this little peg right here. It just leans up on a bookshelf or something. It's not gonna go on a wall or anything. It's gonna be for something small. It only cost $4, which honestly was a little bit more than I would expect for a used frame. However, it is nice and solid piece of wood. It's very well done. So it's gonna last me quite a while. The next pieces I got were these little candle holders. Now these are silver and I'm debating leaving them this way. Um, simply because I'm into gold more. And honestly, the real reason I got them was because they were a dollar each. It was two for two. And and these are gonna be perfect for a look for less dupe that I wanna create. And since they're not real silver or anything, I figured if I do end up painting these, it's not really gonna be that big a deal because these are just very cheap and inexpensive. One of them is even missing like the, the plastic cover on the bottom. And then I got these, which you can find them a dime a dozen in your thrift stores. So these were marked as $3 each. However, this particular day that I went, all clear glass, all colored glass, all kinds of glass <laughs> was marked half off, which is one of the reasons why I love going to that place. Um, so these were only $1.50 a piece, so it was $3 for both. The last thing I got at this thrift store was this piece right here. And this was $6, but it was half off as well, so it only cost me three. And honestly, I've been making a lot of puddings and custards, and I thought, how pretty would it be if I can create, you know, desserts and stuff and kind of layer them, and you can see them through the glass and it has a lid to keep them covered. So I saw this and honestly, it just, it's its so old school and vintage looking, but at the same time, it's so practical. And yeah, I'm excited about it because it's in pristine condition. It only cost me three bucks and it's gonna be really useful for me in the kitchen. And yeah, I just can envision putting beautiful desserts together in this. So for everything that you see right here, I ended up paying $12.84 and that's including tax. Now from the second location where all the antique booths were at, I got this pillow and this pillow was only $6, which I actually loved it because I love the stripes, the neutral colors on it. And I am working on an outdoor space and I thought that this would be perfect to, to add to that. And of course in the future, if I ever wanna change it up, I can always do a custom cover for it when um, I get my sewing machine out of the <laughs> storage. So yeah, this is the first thing I got at the second place. Now the next piece is a little bit of a splurge. And the reason I got it was because 
I thought it was gorgeous. And I think I shared this the last time I went to the antique store. That's beautiful. And I focused in on it, but I didn't get it then. And so it was still there this time around. And to me, it's just stunning. I don't know what it is about this, but this cloche with this large, I don't know if it's, if it's supposed to be a candle holder or not, but it's perfect all together. The green little ball, the cloche, and the stand. Like, I adore this. And this is actually $30, but it's totally fine because I'm gonna get to use this forever and I don't have to do anything with it. It's awesome, guys. Like, look how beautiful this is. I get to create little vignettes with it. And again, it's from my favorite booth <laughs> in this particular antique store and I'm excited about it. The next two little items, these were adorable. And they're vintage, they're vintage postcards. Look at these, there's this one, which totally reminds me of the landscape up here because we have a valley and we have two mountains and we live on one of them. <laughs> and I just thought it was absolutely beautiful and to put it in a little gold frame and put it on the wall, it's just gonna be darling. And this one actually is really cool because as you guys know, my family and I, we travel to Chattanooga every single um, Thanksgiving weekend and we go to Rock City to experience the Garden of Lights. And this up here is the view from Rock City where you can see seven different states from this particular vantage point. And again, it's a vintage postcard. And this was actually very personal to me just because this mountain is actually very special to our family. And the fact that I was able to find this was awesome. So these cute little postcards, I hope to frame them in cute little gold uh, vintage style frames and just have them displayed in my home. The next thing I got was this vintage whisk. I'll be honest, I have a whisk right now and it's really annoying because it feels really flimsy. And if you guys remember, not that long ago, I got a vintage egg beater. But sometimes you don't need an egg beater, all you need is a whisk and this one had a beautiful wood handle. This was $8.95 if I remember correctly and it has a little bit of rust, I'll just be removing that rust and then it'll be good to go. But this actually feels more solid than the whisk that I have now and it's a little bit smaller, the other one's kind of wider. So yeah, I got this one to add to my vintage kitchen utensil collection. Next, I got this copy of The Secret Garden, which is the story that I totally love. And as you guys know, we are building a library in our home and I just want to have some really nice classics to it. So I found this one for $5. The last thing that I got was this book and we are starting our garden this year. It's gonna happen, guys. And I saw this, Homegrown Herbs, A Complete Guide to Growing, Using, and Enjoying More Than 100 Herbs. And honestly, it's beautifully illustrated, and it even talks about preparing um, herbs for medicinal care, like the uses for like cayenne pepper. Cayenne pepper is actually the, something that we use on a regular basis anyways. It's got a lot of medicinal um, properties to it, and absolutely love it. And one of the things that I love about this is that it has like a beginner's guide to like, you know, using this book and lots of plant characteristics and requirements and it has charts. So I'm excited to learn a little bit more about what I can grow and how I can use them in my home. So useful books like this are very attractive to me We've already got several of them and I'm just gonna keep adding. Every time I find one that looks really nice, is very informative, you know I am picking them up. So this is everything that I got from the second store as well as the t-shirt that she gifted me, which was so sweet. And you guys will be seeing some of these in future videos very soon. And that is it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite find or what you're looking forward to seeing very soon. I have several outdoor projects coming your way very soon because we are finally getting better weather and we can get some stuff done. So I can't wait to share that with you guys, as well as more episodes of our home build. So stay tuned for that, and I will see you guys very soon. Until then, 
Adiós.